They are God's spiritual army, supernatural creatures of immense light, power, and wisdom. Angels, in a world that can often feel cold and indifferent, how comforting to know that we have an entire army of invisible friends working on our behalf. Pope Francis, in a recent address, encouraged Catholics to become more aware of the invisible presence of angels. He reminded us that each person is given a guardian angel that not only walks with us through life, but will stand beside us as we enter into the everlasting joys of heaven. Could you talk to us about where we find angels in the Old Testament, uh, the Hebrew Bible? The beginning of Genesis 18, it says that three men came to visit Abraham and Sarah. And it, as the story develops, it becomes clear that they're not ordinary humans. And one of them, at least, is God. And then the other two, at the beginning of the next chapter, are identified as angels. Traditionally, the same angels are, the, are throughout those stories, or at least two of the stories are connected. So why do you think, as a, as a historian, somebody who works at the cemetery, why are there so many angels? at cemeteries, what's the connection? What do angels represent? For the folks that see angels, it's just this situation that there's hope, and they're pretty, and we want to know that some beautiful creature is going to take us up to the afterlife. So it gives us a sense of that there's hope, and that there's more beyond life here on Earth.